the best decision of my life was to become a police officer. My name is Ronald Cromer Sr. I have to put the senior in there now that my son is a part of the academy. Um, I've been with Baltimore Police Department for 17 years. I'm a native of Brooklyn, New York. Amazing childhood, amazing childhood. The honest answer would be that I did not like police officers at all. I was one of the kids that was singing NWA as a kid growing up, so I really did not like police officers at all but I really had no reason not to. My brother-in-law, who just retired, was the only law enforcement um, relative I've had. We was going on a road trip to Atlanta to one of the cousin's wedding, and on his road trip, me and him were talking, and I was asking him about being an officer, being police, and I thought it was whack. And then he said he knows that I was a physical training guy. So he said, I bet you can't even do the physical fitness test. Taking care of my body has always been top priority. I've never drank alcohol in my life. I've never smoked anything in my life. And I was like, I'll run through that physical fitness test. Man, them police officers ain't got nothing on me. And we bet that I couldn't do it. He set it up and I came down on a Wednesday, started on a Thursday, went all the way through the Sunday. Did my background check, 30 days later, they offered me the job. The most rewarding thing for me, at first it was just helping people. But in my last maybe 10 years, 15 years, the most rewarding things is changing the young people's perception of what they think of police are. Two. Take a deep breath, fellas. One. Oh, no! So they see me, they don't just see this blue uniform. You know, they see my tattoos, they see um, maybe how I dress, they see how athletic I am, they see how hip I can be, how I listen to the same music they listen to. So the only difference is I wear this blue uniform. Drug dealers and uh, pimps, these are the people that we looked up to because they had the nice cars, the nice clothes, they had money. So what I'm trying to do is change the whole perception of that and let them see that you can do right, do good, and have the nice clothes, the nice cars, have money, be able to travel, have a great family, and not have to look over your back. I do have three daughters. Okay. They are the older siblings to my son. My son is the baby. When he graduated high school, um, we just had a talk from 18 to 20, let me help you make the best decisions instead of just sending you off to college. So one of those choices were to become a cadet where he can actually make some money because as a cadet, these guys are making up to 34, 35,000 a year and they go to school for free. So he agreed to it and he became a cadet. And the two years that he's become a cadet, he has grown to love police. He has grown to wanting to be a part of police. And then he see what I do on a regular basis, so he want to become that as well. It's weird to see his name and my name get mixed up so much. We have the exact name, he's the junior, I'm the senior. So it's kind of weird, but we getting through it. Trust the process. One of the hardest things in the city is caring, protecting, loving people that don't love you. But that's one of the hardest things to do as an officer, so you can't let it get you down. You gotta you know, stay strong and continue doing it because people do care. I like to think you know, I'm helping these guys make the best decisions because it was the right decision for me.